Hi, my name is Will Morrison. I'm a senior consultant with Western Computer. And today I'm going to give you an overview of the newly created app called 365 Counter Sales. First, I'd like to go over some of the challenges that are tied to counter sales. First one being most computer solutions are intended for wholesale slash distribution. Responding to customers in real time requires access to information not normally accessible from a single system. Although ERP and POS systems provide some of the answers, other information is unique to the wholesale distribution business. Counter sales must handle orders started in a variety of ways online over the phone and close them in a variety of ways as well. Customer pickup, local delivery, parcel ship, just to name a few. 365 counter sales will solve this problem for the wholesaler distributor by linking the manufacturer and warehousing with traditional point of sale functionality. It fills in the gaps with functionality such as margin lookup calculations and item lookup, as well as giving you the ability to put in a serial number. Handles orders from multiple sources and lets you fulfill them in a variety of ways. And finally, helps you verify you're providing the right products for the customer's orders. Next, I'm going to switch over to the Cloud POS screen and go through a transaction and also point out the new functionality that's been built in as part of this 365 counter sales application. So first I'm going to click into current transaction. And from this screen, I'm going to search for the customer that placed the order. So Karen and she will pop up here. And then I'm just going to click the plus sign and this will add her to the order. Next, I'm going to select a product from the categories list. I'm going to go with gloves and scarves, and then go with white cotton gloves. I'm going to select a size, and what I'm going to do is sell now, which will add this to the sales order line. So what I want to do now is go to the orders tab and take a look at the customer contact. You see there's a couple here. I'm going to pick Karen Berg. So now she's selected. This will allow me to set up payments and also the delivery method. And next I want to take a look at the margins info. So when I open this up, in the margin details screen, you have information about the item and the quantity that's on this particular order. Then if you take a look over here in the calculation section tells you the base price, the cost for you, and then finally the estimated margin on this order. So what I'm going to do next is to select a shipping option. So I'm going to do ship selected, customer order. So this is going to take me to the shipping method screen that We'll share information about the ship from location and the ship to location. And then there's a couple of shipping methods. Let's go with standard overnight. I'm going to enter in the charge for that. Next, in the requested ship date, we'll go with the 8th of March. So now on the order line, you'll see delivery ship standard overnight from Houston, expected delivery date of the 8th. Next thing I want to do is select a payment method. So I'm going to click on the payment tab, then click add payment. This will open up the pay to deposit screen, which allows a lot of different options for payment. So I'm going to go with cash and then just stick with the 622 amount here by clicking enter. And then this is going to ask you, do you want to pay the balance later or pay the entire balance? So I'm just going to say pay balance later and so it's change due zero. So I'm going to close and you'll notice that the line is no longer there. That's indicating that this order has been pushed back to D365 and it is ready for you to invoice the customer. So I'm going to go to D365 and refresh the sales order list page. And you'll see there's a new order here ending in 36. I'm going to click into it and just verify that this is what I just created, which it was. The correct item, 81322, correct price. So now you're ready to invoice the order. 
and send that out to the customer. So to recap what I went over in this demo, I showed you the gaps that are being filled in by the margin information screen and the customer contact screen. You also have the ability to keep track or enter a serial number information from the POS, which is not part of standard D365 POS functionality. So there's quite a bit of new functionality built in to the POS that will enhance the user experience for wholesalers and distributors.